Hey guys, it's been a minute since I was able to make a video, whether it was fixing the boat or fishing. Well, actually, I never uploaded a fishing video, but it is what it is. Uh, so today, I figured I'll give you guys an update on what's going on with the boats, and um, we'll probably hit the rocks, see if we can catch anything. <laughs> The only thing that's keeping the big boat out of the water right now is the axles. They took them off the trailer um, just to inspect them, but you can see there's a lot of rust on them. But this, there's a lot of rust here, but this area is still good. I can grind this back, paint that, and still use it. However, it's the brackets that hold the axle onto the trailer that's actually rusted through and needs to be replaced um, so that's what's holding the big boat back right now these are torsion axles I was just thinking about replacing them um, they would cost me about 2500 after fat and customs but I'm just gonna see if I can grind these down paint them Get new brackets weld on them and see if they get older for another year while I work on getting those new axles. Let's pull the curtain back from boat number two and see how it looks after sitting for almost a year under the top. Not too bad, look like she hold up well. Still some moisture got in there though. Uh, that's what I was trying to avoid, but the top wasn't good enough. Like I said in one of my last videos, I believe, water was still getting true to the, the drain hole. Um, I took all the foam out of there, at least what I could get. And um, put a little resin on the wood to protect it. What I'll probably do is let this sit out for the rest of the day and let the sun dry it. And once I get back, I'll see if I can put a different top on top of it. Those guys got a pretty good home right there. Uh, but they shouldn't be there. Hmm. I need to knock that off. I don't think I was able to get anything done over a majority of the period of COVID. Um, but things are opening back up now, well, pretty much open. So hopefully that changes in the near future and we could actually start work again. We got a few minutes left in the day. Let's hit the rocks and see what we can catch. At least before the rain comes. All right, guys, switching to the GoPro now, so the audio might actually be worse. But um, we will take these two lures, um, Cast Masters by Acme Taco, and we'll use the lure that's already attached to the rod. 
Um, this one is a Yozuri S. Uh, looks like a Pilcher. So let's go with that and see what we get. I just need to get uh, a few more supplies and then we'll be out of here. Tide is pretty low. Crap. This looks like a good spot I need to start. Let's see what we can find. Tide is really low. The plan was actually to hit a few different spots along the eastern point of the island. Um, but at this point, I only had about an hour, uh, hour and a half left, and I used the whole hour at this spot. So I couldn't make it to any other sports. When not already. I'm actually not a really talkative guy, but I'll use the little lulls in between when I'm speaking just to update you guys. I've actually not just been sitting, not doing anything on the boats. I've been collecting supplies like resin, fair and putty, brushes, mixing cups. I even got a tent to cover up the little boat when I'm not working on it just to keep the rain away from it. Like we got a hound fish out there. Didn't bring no plies for that guy. I'm not a big lure guy unless I'm trolling or I actually see something on top of the water and I have a rod ready. But um, I figured it's a good time to start. Today's a good day though. Today was actually a really good day for the eastern point of the island. This is usually where we get most of our wind when the, when the summer comes. There are actually a lot of boats out, yachts and um, jet skis. Some fishing boats too passed. This was my first time fishing off the rocks in a very long time, at least two or three years. My last fishing trip was on a boat and man, we caught so many fish. I haven't eaten fish for a year where I had so much fish. I couldn't, I just couldn't eat fish anymore after that trip. I don't know why. If anyone know why that is, let me know. I would stall off fish for a good little while. This sport actually had a lot of life. There was a lot of hound fish. Um, and I actually saw a good sized trigger fish but I didn't have the cut bait ready for him just yet. I threw the law to him a few times, but he didn't bite. Where I'm standing now is public property, but that little dark thing that you see to the left is actually private property. There's a houndfish trying to attack the law, but I think it's too big for it. I hope I don't get run, but let's see if we can get a little higher.
The wind is blowing directly at me, so I can't get the law as far as I would like it. I don't see anything running after it, so I'll turn you guys off for now and get back to you when I see something. There's a big barracuda there. I'm pretty sure we'll cut this if he snags it, so let's see if we can lose a law. I've always wanted to try out one of those poodle tubes. I think I'll get one and come back to this spot. See if that guy's still there. Such a good day for no bites. I don't think anything is here. I have actually got good fish from here. I don't know what happened today. I got a few follows from houndfish, but that's about it. Let's switch the law and see what we get. Do I still remember how to tie a non-slip loop knot? No, I do not. I gotta look that up. Let's just go to uni for now. Uh, uh, uh. I got some of these, so let's see how this works. Right here. This metal is hot. Let's see if we get something to follow this. Hopefully we should be able to go further. Look like she's swimming good. Yeah, fishy, 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 fishy. See that barracuda again. happened here was the line got stuck. I had a fish follow it from its initial landing point all the way up to the rocks and I 
stop the Lord just to give the fish a chance to hit it because it was really after it. But the water was too low and the lure got stuck on a rock and I ended up popping the line. Shit. Ah, damn it. Just like that, there goes the lure. I went back to the truck and put the smaller lure on. So that's what you see me casting here. Uh, okay, I switched rods. The law wasn't doing anything, so let's see if we get anything on a little piece of conch bait. <laughs> 